Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anubhuti and I love to talk about everything beauty related. I love to do product reviews and also I love to do a lot of project planning content here on my YouTube channel because I love to get use out of my makeup collection more efficiently. So if those are the things you are interested in, make sure to subscribe before jumping into today's video. So I'm not really someone who just buys the new uh, makeup or eyeshadow palettes. I don't get much PRs. So I don't just necessarily buy all the new palettes releasing. Uh, and most of the time I wait for the sales. If some there is some eyeshadow palette which is which really interests me or any other makeup item for that matter, um, then I usually wait for the sales. And by the time I get my hands on it, there are already dozens of reviews <laughs> all over the internet. It doesn't make sense for me to review those eyeshadow palettes again. So I've been thinking what kind of eyeshadow palette content I can create using my existing collection because I love eye makeup. And in past, I've done a couple of eyeshadow palette reviews and two eye makeup looks, like different makeup looks. One for more day, daytime appropriate and nighttime appropriate, or just not necessarily two different eye makeup looks from the palette. And those seem to got a uh, really good attraction, um, really good engagement. So then I do want to do that kind of content here, but not necessarily an eyeshadow palette review format. So what I have decided to do is that I have seen Micah uh, from Floating in Dreams um, doing similar content. She revisits her older palettes and she has a dedicated series where she visits, where she revisits her older palettes, number of older palettes from her collection and then does makeup look with them and then reassess that she still loves them or would she still go out and purchase. And she, has, she does a lot of eyeshadow palette related content. So then uh, it kind of also inspired me that I can do it in a similar way. So revisiting an older palette and creating two looks out of the same palette. So that will still serve what I, uh, my purpose, what I want to do. Um, and also it will make for a different kind of content. So um, yeah, I thought let's give it a try and see how it goes. Um, and if I want to do it in future or not. So then I've decided that because I have been doing uh, Project Level Up and uh, No Pen Left Behind project pens, both are eyeshadow palette project pens. So then I am already working on one palette in my Project Level Up and three palettes in my No Pen Left Behind this year. So then I decided why not, I have those focus palettes, so why not just pick those palettes and create two looks out of those palettes itself and then post a review so that I don't have to necessarily think about which palette I want to reach for. I hope it makes sense. Today, uh, I've decided to kick it off with um, a palette which is in my project level up, level one, uh, and that is Too Faced Shake Your Palm Palms palette. If you have not checked out my introduction video for project level up for this year, I will link it down in the description box below. Make sure to check it out if you're interested in watching that. So this is my Too Faced Shake Your Palm Palms palette. This is how the eyeshadow palette looks like. This is an older palette from Too Faced. If you own this, you can also go ahead and create your own looks or if you uh, get inspired by using my looks, then please make sure to share it with me. I would love to see it. Um, but anyways, uh, so then this is how the palette looks like. This is mostly the pinks and neutrals with a pop of uh, this crunchy green. So then, um, yeah, I'm going to do two different uh, makeup looks using this palette. One probably including the green and one more centered towards the lighter tones. I usually like to do my base makeup first and then I go with the eyeshadow palette. That's just how I get ready every morning. Um, so yeah, I already have my um, Painterly Paint Pot, um, MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and I have also set it with a cream eyeshadow. So then I want to use this shade as in my crease and, and yeah, just I want to use it in my crease. Uh, with the fluffy brush and just spill that shade basically 
basically how I count my makeup usages that if I'm dipping into an eyeshadow palette once that counts for one usage or if I'm dipping into eyeshadow palette in an eye, eye shade one day then it counts as a single usage so yeah this I'm gonna be using on both the eyes as a crease shade okay let's do this eye look first uh, so then I'm using the shade Get Laid Over, which is this peachy skin toned uh, matte. And just, yeah, blend in the crease. Next, I want to go for a little deeper shade, uh, which is this deep uh, kind of burgundy brown. Uh, this is the shade Let's Bounce. And I'm gonna take it, uh, take it on the fluffier brush, but I do wanna uh, focus it on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna pack it first and then slowly blend it. Now everything looks blended and also deepened in the outer corner. I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to use this uh, green shade, which, which is called I'm out of here. Um, and I'm going to use my fingers for it because that's what I like to do. I like to use um, finger for my shimmers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use it on my two third or maybe three fourths of the eye. Just leaving a little bit of inner corner without the color and I'm just gonna build it up this is kind of those uh, old Too Faced thick metallics which I like personally these are not like in your face metallics but these do the job so then uh, yeah I have to pack it up and then I am gonna just use the same finger without any shade on it just a little little touch kind of blending it to the inside in a corner then i'm gonna take this uh fourth shade from which is called vitamin c which is this beautiful shade it's kind of a taupey champagne shade um and i'm gonna take it on my pinky finger and just I'm gonna apply it on my inner corner and also gonna pull it in the inner one fourth of the eye. And then I'm gonna take the same finger, which a little bit of green shade in it and just blend those two together. Okay, so then this is done. Now I'm gonna use a pencil brush and just gonna use it sorry it's my chair is making squeaky noises I'm gonna use it kind of as a liner and on the same brush I'm gonna pick up the champagne shade and then gonna use just make sure they look blended yeah, so that's the first eye look done i'm gonna uh, do my co and then liner and also mascara off camera and then i will be back okay so i just went ahead and tight lined my eyes uh with my uh, with a black co and then i have applied mascara on my eyes i will do my brows in the end because that's what i like to do um and uh, yeah let's move to uh, move over for the second eye makeup look and I'm also gonna follow the same suit for this as well. I'm gonna just pick up the same shade and apply it in the crease. We have already done it, but I do want to let build it up a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up this um, brown shade, which is kind of a neutral brown shade. This is called. Uh, tough coconut so i'm gonna take it on the fluffy brush and then also gonna do the same just focus on the 
outer corner and then blend it in the crease. These match are blending really nicely together, which is great. Um, okay, I'm not gonna build it up a lot. I wanna keep the side makeup look a little bit less smoky. So then um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take um, this brown shimmer uh, and pick it up on my finger and apply it on the outer half of the eye. This shimmer is not performing as nicely as the green one. Not sure what, what is the reason. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up this pink. Okay, this is also kind of a satiny shade, this pink. And gonna apply it on my inner half of the eye. See, it kind of gives that shifty look. Yeah, that's what I wanted kind of this to do. So then, yeah kind of building that up and again picking up the the kind of bronzy golden shade and again blending all both of these kind of together okay so that is done now i'm going to pick up this li very light pink shimmer on my pinky finger and apply it on my inner corner. And kind of pull it inside my eye to kind of join everything together. Now I'm gonna take the fluffy brush with no product on it and just gonna blend everything out over the crease. I also did the same the side before just blend everything after you apply the shimmer and then look in the mirror I think the shimmer is disappearing which is strange and it is not as intense as I would like it to do but yeah we got to work with what we have now I'm going to use the same pencil brush, I have cleaned it and then I'm going to pick up that bronze shade and apply it on my lower lash line. I have uh, fine lines under my eyes and I don't like to go a with a lot of eyeshadow on my lower lash line because I think that's not a look which I like on myself because I have deep set eyes here and then if I apply too much eyeshadow it looks like I'm not doing well so uh, yeah let me apply it in my lower lash line and then I'm gonna pick up the pink shade also I'm gonna recreate what we have on the upper lid and then in the end pick up the light pink shade and join it so kind of it looks everything is all together okay i think this is the second look i'm gonna apply um the coal again and then liner and then mascara and i will be and also do my brows and i will be back okay so i went ahead and applied uh, a little bit of brown um copper coal on my eyes from it this is from faces uh all time pro and then the shade is a uh, smog and i applied it on my waterline as well as on uh, as a liner and then i went ahead and applied mascara and i also did my brows brows make such a big difference but then yeah this is the complete look and these are the two eye makeup looks that i uh created so i will just move a little bit closer and give you a close-up uh, of both the eye makeup looks and using the two faced Shiki Pom Poms eyeshadow palette. So this is the first eye makeup look which we used using the greens.
And this is the second eye makeup look, which we used using, which we created using the pinks and the bronze. So this is the more like soft romantic. You can also skip the eyeliner if you want them it to make it more soft and romantic. You can skip the eyeliner. Um, and this is more like the, your smoky grungy. And these are two different eye makeup looks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more such videos. Like if you would like me to create this two makeup looks, one palette kind of videos. Uh, and it, this way I can still create content, revisit some old palettes and then show you uh, how to create easy and quick uh, makeup looks using them, two different eye makeup looks. So yeah, mm, I think uh, that is it. Uh, please, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And also uh, please let me know if you have any more like video ideas that any eyeshadow related content that you would like to see here on my channel uh leave those ideas in the comment section below and uh have a very good day good night uh depending on wherever you are and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye